I'm Dr. Meera Joshi. I've been here in this clinic since uh, 2009, five years almost. Now I'm, I've been in uh, Windham for uh, nearly 15 years. 1998 I started, I started living in Hoppers Crossing as a student. Now I've become a doctor and serving for the um, Windham City um, community since five years as a general practitioner. It's talking about the transport. We can talk a lot about transport, especially in the growing, gener uh, growing area in Windham. It's, uh, I think uh, one of my patients told me, Hoppers Crossing is the most living and affordable and fast growing area in the whole world, not only in Australia, but in the whole world, it's a Hoppers Crossing. Compared to that, so many um, patients who are waiting for consultations, going from one place to another place and waiting for buses, waiting for public transport is a big problem. Frequency is very less in Hoppers Crossing and Windham area, um, especially buses, uh, trains, and most of the patients are who are aging, they don't have a driving license, they don't have their carers or someone looking after them. They are independent, but still transport is a big problem. So to get from A to B is uh, taking long time, whole day they spend waiting in a bus stop or in a shopping center to reach to the, their doctors or shopping center. I think the main concern in this area is uh, transport. Frequency is the one which we are facing a lot. Uh, in front of my clinic you can see a bus stop uh, which is there. Most of my patients will come and sit here, wait for bus for hours and hours together that becoming uh, very hard for patients who are living independently alone. Patients are telling me, how can we cope with, can you give us a taxi voucher, Dr. Joshi, um, that is 50% off uh, from the government, so they can pay half of the uh, taxi fees instead of $10, they can pay $5, but all are not eligible for that purpose. So in, instead, if we can increase the frequency of uh, public transport, that will be more uh, convenient for the patient to reach their day-to-day -day life. Everywhere you see so many uh, houses, new houses, new generation, especially most of the, my patients whom I know, from where you're moving, from eastern suburb to here. Why? Because it is a large space, more uh, convenient for us and everything is available here except the transport. When they say this one, they work in the city, but they want to live in Windham. So we want to make them livable and enjoyable stay for people who moved in, make them more feel more happy and more friendly for Western reason of Victoria. Otherwise we feel they are missing something. It will not be a friendly place if you don't move fast. I had a really real patient who is a male. He has his job and he came here late for his appointment because of the public transport and he was so aggressive. Dr. Joshi, why can't you see right now? No, you are one hour late. I can't push my front patients back and you have to wait because you have come late. It's not my fault. I couldn't get the, I have to come by train and I have come by bus. Then I have to wait here another one hour when I will reach back to my home. So he threw all his papers in front of me and gone out of the consultation. It was a very sad day that day. It never happened before. More, more and more we are getting aggressive patients day to day in this clinic because they are frustrated on the road. Somebody is hitting. Another incident I can tell you, um, patients who are crossing here, they just, they cross, they don't care for old age or young generation who are driving and turning to the left, they come and hit and run because they are frustrated, waiting. When you come in the 3 o'clock, 3.30 and 8.30 in the morning, you will see only cars standing in front of my window here. None, none, nothing is moving. Just stand still. Everyone is blocked up from the uh, Dermot Road to the Hogan's Road and Sayers Road, all the choco blocks. We can't get here. If I, if I want to start at 8.30, my first patient, I have to be here before 7.45. My house is very seven minutes drive from my clinic, but I take 40 minutes to come here. I have to pass for five roundabouts and traffic lights to get here. I was thinking this is the nearest clinic I can work and stay with the kids and my family, but it's getting harder and harder. That's the real fact. 
So somehow we have to improve this. We can talk to the people who come, especially in the clinic. Every day, 50 to 100 patients are coming in and out. We can explain them what their thoughts are. We can talk to them. Then they can come together. Then they can give their opinion to one person like me or someone in the council. So if uh, uh, time permits, we can talk to the whole community if when you give a perm even give a time to them. We are dealing with a diverse community here. Many people are not communicating only in English. There are so many other languages who are coming to talk to me. If you listen to their uh, each one individual's voice in their own way, that will group together those voices can make a difference to the community. Most of the population in Australia, they are aging. Healthy aging group are more. More than 65 to 80, 85 patients are still coming to this clinic. If their transport is a problem, they can't drive. Due to some other medical problems, their license is taken off, but they are fit to come to the clinic. Every doctor cannot go to their house to visit and give their medical treatment. If um, they cannot drive and public transport is not amenable to them, then question of how we can care for these people as a health-wise, as social-wise, and their mental health and physical health and social well-being. They can't go out if there is no public transport to them. Many people who are living in the house, um, they, they should be able to get to the bus stop at least and get the bus and come to public place like shopping centers, doctor's visits. This should be available for them because they can't drive because of the medical problems. Maybe arthritis, maybe um, uh, heart problem, maybe diabetes. So many people are with obesity. Many people can't access to the, uh, their own transport, but they are depending on public transport. Being a transport tam champion, I can make a difference in the community because I'm dealing with the community every day. And throughout my stay in Windham, I've been seeing them. And if I contribute my little help to the community, that can make a great difference to their life. That's my um, feeling to, towards the community, what I'm treating right now. This Mosville Medical Center is on a Heath Road. It's been here for 37 years. This was the first clinic. There, there was no station or bus or anything. Now this clinic is catering from Backers Marsh, Lara, Little River, Yarraville, Windham Vale, and very Bend Hoppers Crossing. This is on the main road. I don't see many buses frequency in this clinic. People are uh, getting uh, aging. Uh, we are facing an aging population here. It is getting harder for them to come and see a doctor here because this clinic has been there 30 years. This clinic has been looking after those patients who are now 60 or 80 because they were young when they used to come to this clinic. They can't change the doctor. Now they want to come here, but access is a big problem. So if you, if in them counsel to help it moving, that will be a great success for local community. I've been living in Tani for the past 15 years. I love being independent. I love um, having to use public transport. I think, um, Independence is um, a vital goal for everyone's life. I know it has been for me. Love having to be, not having to depend on anyone or my parents. Knowing that I can go from A to B without asking someone. The transport system should be reliable either, either way you look at it because you're losing time, you're losing money, losing resources and you don't want to lose that much. So. I think it's really important to have punctual public transport.